Well, how are you doing? <clears throat> this video is going to be titled uh, How Standard Refraction Destroys the 60 Nautical Miles Per Degree Claim um, on the Surface of the Globe Earth. <clears throat> okay, so here we have a photograph, right? This is what we see in reality. We have <clears throat> the horizon here, uh, see horizon, and here is the stars. This is the star Sirius, supposedly, okay? Now, there's something else in this photograph I'm not going to point out right now for, uh, it's going to be a future argument, but <clears throat> but uh, right now, all that matters is that we see a photograph of what we see in reality. Now, recently, I did a video, and I pointed out that all the uh, elevation angles to Polaris all are taken from, at sea, when you're when you're at sea with uh, on a ship or boat with a, with a marine sextant, they're all taken from the sea horizon. So all the angle measurements are taken between the sea horizon and Polaris. So they're not taken from a geometric globe's geometric horizon. They're taken from between the reality sea horizon and Polaris. When when you're at sea using a marine sextant. Um, just to support that, let me see. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, surface of Earth, line of sight to horizon, right? To your horizon. Line of sight to Polaris, off 90 degrees. Right? That's how it's done. You don't use the globe's geometric horizon, you're using the actual reality uh, horizon, the real horizon. Um, <clears throat> why this is important is that our opposition. Um, have claimed since 2020. Now, people who are in the know in celestial navigation and other disciplines, like Metabunk, for instance, they've known for a long time that the horizon is not geometric. But since 2020, our opposition, uh, since the Black Swan argument came out, our opposition have been claiming that the horizon is not a geometric location and the geometric horizon is only in the maths. And what we see is a refracted 7 over 6 standard refraction terrestrial refraction horizon. This is what the claim is. Now, besides the fact that that completely debunks the claim of any geometric horizon in the first place, claiming refraction destroys the argument, the globe, ar the globe's argument, people continued to keep saying it. <clears throat> but I pointed out, right, that the one instance where they can't hand wave away um, the horizon argument uh, and they can't make a walk around by stating refraction with the horizon argument is with Polaris. Because Polaris, <clears throat> observations to Polaris, uh, okay, uh, elevation angles to Polaris is what, is what the globe Earth's radius value is back calculated from. So <clears throat> the point being is that Every time that they took an elevation angle to Polaris, they had to use the reality sea horizon. But the globe has a geometric horizon. So they were never, ever, ever referencing a globe's geometric horizon when they were taking the elevation angles. But besides the fact that elevation angles require a horizontal plane, the point is, is that the back engineering of the globe at radius value was done from these horizontal plane measurements to Polaris off of the reality sea horizon using marine sextant. If you want to get so if you want to get your correct latitude, right, you and you're north of the equator and you can see Polaris, and you're at sea and you have a marine sextant, you must use the sea horizon and Polaris. So you won't get your correct latitude if you're trying to add in some geometric mathematical geometric horizon that won't give you a correct latitude. Now, that alone completely, and a lot, the opposition obviously either have, most of them just don't even understand it. And the ones that do are either quiet or they're making stupid arguments. You, that destroys the globe. It destroys all of heliocentrism. The fact that you don't use the globe's geometric horizon to, to get your angle, your latitude using Polaris. So you can't, not that you just don't, you can't use the globe's geometric horizon to get your latitude. You won't get your correct latitude using the globe's geometric horizon. 
that was the whole point of my video in, in my one of my recent videos concerning Polaris that you must use the sea horizon that is how it's done so if they're claiming that the horizon we see here is refracted and that you're using a refracted horizon to get your latitude using Polaris with a marine sextant at sea then that debunks all of heliocentrism because that means that never once was the globe out ever mathematically in line with the observation angles to Polaris so all the observations of the sky of Polaris of everything else what that states if is that if you're not using the ge globe's geometric horizon um, to get your correct latitude uh, between the horizon and Polaris then all of globe all of the globe mathematics all of heliocentrism is finished there and then because it means that you that you you aren't referencing the globe to get your correct latitude it makes the globe the wrong size mathematically it doesn't work even though we're we can't see this geometric horizon it's only in the maths the point is that it makes it the wrong size if we're not using the, if that's not the globe's geometric horizon and if it doesn't matter what you claim it is i don't care if you claim it's refracted whatever that means that it's not the geometric horizon of the globe so we don't get our correct latitude this is the most important term in this these two words correct latitude we don't and can't get our correct latitude between the sea uh, sorry between the globe's geometric horizon and let's just say this is polaris now we know it's not but just let's just say it is for for the sake of this argument so we can't use the globe's geometric horizon to get our correct latitude using polaris at sea with a marine sextant you have to use what is claimed to be for the past couple of years a refracted horizon so that refraction is standard refraction seven over six of a radius so here is the problem <clears throat> right for those who who are still fighting against the fact that this this very fact destroys all of heliocentrism and all of the globes uh, all the mathematics uh, for the globe because it means that the globe doesn't fit the observations of the sky there's no observations of the sky that match the globe at that point it can't they can't match the globe because the globe is not matching reality because i can get my correct latitude using the globe using sorry the the, the reality sea horizon and polaris using a marine section at sea i can't do that with the globe's geometric horizon so <clears throat> just to show you something okay so here is right so let's just say i have to do this in a funny way i don't like doing it but i'll have to do it just to show so here is the adjacent okay here is the from the gp up to the star here is the hypotenuse okay here is the observer's zenith okay and here is the coaltitude okay so this is the co-altitude distance okay between the zenith and uh, the observer zenith and the zenith um to the star from the gp here is the zenith distance right it's horizontal line out to the gp from the observer and here is the hypotenuse the, and the length of the hypotenuse is determined by the length of the adjacent so that's that's the basics of how it works so whatever your degrees are here right will be become minutes of degree uh, as your co-attitude distance and then that will become one for one nautical miles zenith distance right because it's taken off of the zenith so that's how 16 nautical miles per degree works but if you're claiming that you live on a globe but and you're claiming that the horizon that we use to get our correct latitude right at sea with a marine sextant right via polaris and you're claiming if you're claiming that is not the geometric horizon of the globe then you've got a problem 
<clears throat> because we just come back here and we look at how 16 nautical miles per degree is determined on a globe earth. So it's determined from a center point, right? It's just a hijacking of the celestial sphere model. Because if we look here, that's all that is. That's just, they're using a protractor, but that is just one half of the celestial sphere model. So that's all this is, is a hijacking of that. And this comes from this um, sailingissues.com. And of course, this is this comes from this, so it's not something I just made up. So here we can see exactly how it works. That's how you get your your, your uh, <clears throat> 60 nautical miles per degree using a globe. So you have to use the, the globe's radius, which is 395, just under 3959 is the globe's radius value. It has to be that. It has to be that, right, to match 60 nautical miles per degree. It has to be 3959. This is how it works. It won't work any other way. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's come to here. This is degrees from the center. This will be... 5,000 state, what they said, stadia, um, which worked out, I don't know, 500 miles, something like that. But this is the, this is the, the Alexandria and Cyan, well, well and Cyan and Alexandria, 7.24 uh, 7 degrees, whatever it was, created 500 statue miles, or whatever, 400 and something nautical miles. But the whole point is that 16 nautical miles per degree, right, has to work from the center of the globe. It has to work off of the radius, right? And it has to, right? It has to come from the center, and it goes along the uh, surface, right? So let me just come down here. Let's get this. So <clears throat> if, right? If this is how nautical miles, right? Sixteen nautical miles per degree works on a globe, right? So it's going to be from here to there. Right, it's thirty point nine six nautical miles or uh, degrees. Right, and you multiply that then uh, to get uh, 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 to get your um, your correct nautical mile distance along the surface here. But if that's all very well, but if we're using right, if we're using the sea horizon, which is claimed to be a refracted horizon, right, according to our opposition, this is refracted. If we're using the sea horizon. To get our correct latitude right via Polaris with the marine sextant that sea north of the equator, then this can't work because the sea horizon is claimed to be refracted. So if we're getting let's just say we'll treat all these as, as just as latitudes. If we're getting correct latitudes using a refracted horizon, that would be this one is correct in distance with nautical miles and degrees, this one, this one. So these are all correct rings of latitude, right? Let's just say. Uh, and we got them using the sea horizon at sea with a marine sextant. Let's just say this is whatever. The, this is the, a, a top-down view of it. And these are all the rings of latitude or whatever. And we got them using the sea horizon. But this is where the globe fails. Because <clears throat> if you're claiming that we're using a refracted horizon, then that makes the globe bigger. And 60 nautical miles won't work per degree. Because that makes, if we uh, take took this, let's just say this line, I don't think I can do it, and we brought it out to that, now it's all bigger. So that's not going to be 60 nautical miles per degree, is it? It can't be then. It has to be smaller to be 60 nautical miles per degree. So even if we just make it a bit bigger, it's not going to be 16 nautical miles per degree. So if we're getting all our latitudes, correct latitudes, using the reality sea horizon with a marine sextant, right, via Polaris, and they are the correct latitudes, and they're all based off of that. That's where all the latitudes come from. They all start and end with Polaris, right? All the latitude and longitude grid starts and ends with Polaris. So if we're getting the correct one using Polaris and the reality sea horizon and our opposition are claiming that the that the, the horizon we're using is a refracted horizon off of their globe or its geometric horizon, then that makes their globe bigger. So if we're getting the correct uh, if we're getting the correct uh, uh, latitude distances using 
the, the claimed refracted horizon, then that means that either their globe is bigger, right, or their globe is smaller than they need it to be. Because it, it can't, like, the problem they have is that 60 nautic miles per degree only works when you have a radius of 395, or just under 3959. It won't work any other way. So when they add in 7 over 6 hour standard refraction, they're making their globe bigger. And consequently, that we get all our all our <clears throat> latitudes, correct latitudes, using their supposed 7 over 6 hour. Now, it's total nonsense, but that's their claim. And the problem with that is that that means we're using a bigger globe. So 60 nautical miles per degree will not work on a bigger globe. It has to have, it has to have uh, just under 3959 radius. Now, all that is completely debunked. We debunked all these things. There is no radius value. There's no measure of anything. But the point is, is that the claim persists from our opposition that we, we are using a refracted horizon, which gives them a bigger globe, but that makes the radius bigger and makes the, the circumference bigger. So consequently, 16 nautical miles per degree can't work. Mathematically, this can't work. You can't have a claim of 16 nautical miles per degree work on a globe and have 7 over 6 hour. You, ca you can't have standard refraction and 16 nautical miles per degree. Mathematically, the two can't work together because 16 nautical miles per degree requires the globe to be this size. But if we're adding in 7 over 6 hour, it's making it bigger. Consequently, means 16 nautical miles per degree doesn't work on a globe. It only works in one way without 7 over 6 hour. But we are not, right? We are not using the geometric horizon of the globe. We're using the reality sea horizon to get our elevation angles to Polaris and every other star, but Polaris in particular. So if you're claiming that the horizon is refracted, then you're claiming that 16 nautical miles per degree does not work on your model. If you're claiming 16 nautical miles per degree works on your model, then you're claiming that the horizon is geometric, which we can prove <laughs> with, with a, in, in any million amount of ways that it's not. We can show you that in your maths, the, the geometric horizon is only in your maths. It's not in reality. We have quotes from you stating we have official, official information from official sources, official sources, um, in celestial navigation and we have Metabunk and others showing and claiming that the horizon is not geometric so for 16 nautical miles to work uh, per degree to work even mathematically on your globe you need the horizon to be geometric for ye to claim standard refraction means and a, a refracted horizon means 16 nautical miles per degree can't work on your model you can't have it both ways you can only have one or the other. Well, technically, you don't have any. But if you're going to make a claim, a claim of 16 nautical miles per degree, the bunks that there can be standard, standard refraction. A claim of standard refraction, the bunks that claim there can be 16 nautical miles per degree within your model. Mathematically, the two cannot work together. Because you can't have, you can't have a necessity of this size of a sphere the size of a circumference uh, for 16 nautical miles to work, but then taking all your elevation angles off of a, a supposed refracted, refracted horizon, which mathematically will make your circumference bigger. You can't have both. Only one will work. Either the horizon's not refracted and you have 16 nautical miles per degree that works on your globe mathematically, or the horizon is refracted and 16 nautical miles per degree doesn't work. Because we know, using the reality horizon, that's how you get your correct latitude, using Polaris, with a marine sextant, sextant at sea, and we know 16 nautical miles per degree works perfect there. But it doesn't work on the globe. Not, with, not unless we're using the geometric horizon of the globe. Otherwise it won't work. So, time to make up our mind. Time to make up our minds. Either 16 nautical miles per degree, with a geometric horizon, or a refracted horizon, and no 16 nautical miles per degree. It's up to you. <laughs>
See you later.